Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So after two unboxing videos in a row, we finally get back to the how-to video. And in today's video, we got an iPhone 4, a basic 3.1 iPhone 4. And we're gonna downgrade this thing from iOS, boring iOS 7.0.2 that is completely blinding, what the fuck, to iOS 4.3.5. In fact, any, other, any iOS version you want, 4, 5, 6, anything, man. And this downgrade requires no SH, SH pops. You can see down there, oops, 7.1.2, just a basic iPhone 4 and iOS 7. So yeah, this downgrade method again requires no SH, SH, and I think it's untethered, correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, let's get onto the video. Okay, so before I start the video, I'll let you give uh, some shout outs here to Dora to iOS, Miss Dora, which she, who is the person behind the Sam Yoshio downgrade method tools for the 3GS, the iPhone 4, the only iPhone with the 3.1, so I don't, so not all of the version works. iPhone 4S, but we need the SHSH SH for the iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, we need SHSH. SH. So yeah, iPhone 5 again, SH, SH. So yeah, the only thing that doesn't require SH, SH as of now is the iPhone 4 and the 3GS. And also, um, for some reason, we're trying to download these files. It just only downloaded the README. So I just dig around and I found the link in the description. I put out the link in the description. It's by Mr. Ayushi Fan 111 I also will link his YouTube in the description, but his link include the uh, both iOS 7 and iOS 5 FPSW, so I uh, put mine um, just the uh, tools. There's that, and uh, let's go to the video. So the first thing I have to do is go to IPSW.me, download the iOS 7.2 IPSW, and your desired downgrade IPSW. Mine is 4.3.5, and then just copy it to the Sam Yoshio folder. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is go to terminal and then we're gonna type in the CD and then just drag the Sama Yoshino folder inside the terminal and then hit enter. Now I'm gonna type in dot slash install.sh. Okay, now once you press enter, you will see this username and password thingy. Just keep clicking enter. I don't really know what's the deal with these things, but my, what I did is just press enter and enter and it will load the files. If it says error, just keep pressing enter and it will, will load the files. Next thing is we're gonna type in dot slash make underscore IPSW dot SH and then you're gonna click space and then you're gonna type in iPhone 3.1 and then you spaced out to the iOS version that you want. So mine is 4.3.5. And got to type in space again, which your current iOS version is 7.1.2. And now this is the option where you can show the verbose boot. So you can see those little word like the terminal text when you boot up. Or if you don't want a verbose, just type in non verbose mode here. So this is just my personal opinion. So I'm gonna type in verbose and hit enter okay trust the computer okay so one some yoshio is uh finished doing its thing i said word we're gonna put the iphone 4 to dfe mode so power and home for 10 seconds and home button again for 10 seconds so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let go now i2 is gonna pop up click ok close that little guy up and now i'm gonna go to the soma yoshio folder and you see right here we got our custom IPSW folder. You can see here 3.1, 4.3.5 custom IPSW. Now we're gonna go and right click, open with, and archive utility. 
and once that's done this is actually what's inside the ipsw we're gonna go to the firmware folder and what is it firmware and we're gonna go to dfu and here is the two files that we need and now we need to rename the ibss file from this ibss n906 ap release so we can rename and I'm going to type it as just the way I type it. So I small B S S like that. Hit enter. And now we're going to open up the Sama Yoshino folder. We're going to drag the IPSS folder to the master folder. Okay. Now we can finally try to downgrade this iPhone folder. Okay, great. So what we need now is going to go back to terminal. And that is not the terminal. It is the terminal. And I'm going to type in dot slash restore four. SH and hit enter and now we have some option here 4.3 5.0 even 7.0 and some more other iOS 7 versions and of course since I am going to downgrade to iOS 4.3.5 we're gonna click on we're gonna type in 2 and hit enter and it should work and iTunes is gonna be freak out and just close it close it close it close no get the flip out okay and here we go the iPhone is now going to restart okay so while we wait for the iphone 4 to restore to ios 4.3.5 let's take a look at our sponsor for this video okay guys now i want to show you guys a program that's called itransfer for whatsapp now this program allows you to transfer whatsapp for android to ios and for ios to ios you can see there android to android apple to android or apple to apple ios to ios it's easy and I will put the link in the description below so you guys can read about the program and also I will show you guys a demo on how the program works. So I have a 6S here on iOS 12 and I have WhatsApp here and I want to transfer this WhatsApp to this iPhone 8. So let's do it. Okay, so here's the program. Now in this program you can transfer WhatsApp between devices, back up your current WhatsApp or restore to your devices. So here what I'm going to do is I am going to click on backup on WhatsApp device here. Okay. And I'm gonna click here to the iPhone, just the 6S right here, and click backup. And we'll find the file for the WhatsApp, and it will back it up, and so I can restore it to my new phone. Okay, now as you can see down there, WhatsApp backup is successful. Now all I have to do is click done, and now unplug my old phone, and then also transfer the SIM cards. Put the news, put the SIM card in the new phone. Download WhatsApp. Okay, so one WhatsApp is installed, plug the phone to the computer. We're gonna go to down here, restore WhatsApp to device, and we're gonna wait for the file to load, and there it is right there. 6S 12.4.1, now click next. And we connect the device to the computer, okay. And so we're gonna click down here, iPhone 8, and here we go. I click restore here, and turn off on my iPhone, blah, blah, blah. I already do that, and click continue, and now we wait. Okay guys, so once the phone is rebooted and restored from the backup, here you can see there, WhatsApp, once we open that, there we go, all our chats is still there, and this is the new phone, the iPhone 8, and yes, everything, our chats available, if you guys press a call, it will be still available, status and all that, contact and especially, will be get restored. So guys, make sure to check out iTensor for WhatsApp, I have the link in the description down below, so you guys can check it out, and now, let's get back to the video. Ooh, and there it is, Mr. Old Activation Screen. And now iTunes just popped up on my computer at the usual iOS 4 activation. And this says there are no SIM card, so let me pop up a SIM card and we will activate this iPhone. Let me show you guys iOS 4. Put it on and plug it in and hear that beautiful sound. There we go. And now I should be able to activate it. Am I? Am I? And, 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 and come on. Yes, there you go. Okay, so let me show you guys iOS 4. Success, you got the uh, thing on iTunes here. Let me bring you guys here. Success, your iPhone has been unlocked. Very good, okay. Okay guys, so we got the sorcery here. The iPhone 4 that's from 7.0.2 is now downgraded to, oh yes, 4.3.5 equal to settings general about Boom, 4.3.5 and 
just to make sure this is a untethered downgrade because there is a downgrade back in the days still called geek grade which i do use i think for my ipod touch 4 i think i still have one i might try to use this method because this method is way better i guess than the uh geek grade downgrade because that thing is soldered and it requires itunes 10 on your windows computer and yeah it's more complicated all right so let's turn the phone on here so let's see if this untethered okay so we got the iOS 7 logo. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> that little splash, all right? Okay, the splash, and now we're back to the old Apple logo. Okay. So the, I'm pretty sure the base boot up here is still iOS 7.1.2. That's why we need the 7.2 IPSW. And then just put it up to 4.3.5. So yes, it's uh, technically still iOS 4, technically, all right? But hey, you got the Furbos boot again. If you don't want the Furbos boot, want to try to, you know, make your own IPSW, make sure to just include no Furbos or maybe something like that. I kind of forgot, but I do want the Furbos boot. So yeah, you can see here, uh, 3G works. There we go. iOS 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. That's not iOS 5, it's iOS 4.3.5. Let me go bring up the brightness a little bit because I don't know why. It's yeah, it's a little finicky because I think this front camera is not working in this iPhone 4 because I actually built this iPhone 4 don't know yeah oh you can see right there it's twitching yeah so the front camera on this iPhone is not working you guys that we do not have gonna have this problem so yeah I actually built this iPhone 4 this is, used to be an 8 gigabyte I switched the board to a 16 gigabyte from a completely dead iPhone 4 and an iCloud lock one, but I managed to get to the person who have one, to have the iCloud and unlock it. Okay, so Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi works, 3G works, and yeah, what can you ask, man? A fully untethered downgrade to iOS 4.3.5, thanks to Miss Dora, and of course, Mr. Ayoshi Fan 111 for the file. So yeah, guys, that is the video. If you guys like it, Hit the thumbs up button and remember to subscribe okay so thank you guys for watching this video i thought first of all i thought this video is not gonna be successful because of that little username and password thingy but it's actually working so i'm very happy that it actually works and that's everything is of course is working so thank you guys for watching this video peace out